Okay, hi Leos. I'm here today to do your monthly love reading for June 2023. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started in you guys' reading. Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Ancestors and Spirit guys. Please come in and give me an exact, precise love reading for the zodiac sign of Leo for June 2023. For June 2023. For Leo. This is for the zodiac sign of Leo. For June 2023. So you have forgiven and learning as you release and heal the past. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, Spirit is telling you to forgive and learn from a love situation. So, what else come out for you guys? Okay, we have two cards come out. I'm going to take that. You have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And you have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, either you have been praying for a certain someone or praying for a soulmate or vice versa. Someone has been praying for you. Could be the person that the Spirit is telling you to forgive and learn from. Maybe something happened between you guys, um, Leo. And it's telling you to forgive this person and learn from it and move on in your soulmate relationship. But the Spirit is telling you to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I feel like this person is not a problem with this person being your type, but your expectations of them. You expect them to do something this way when they are not that way. They are who they are, just like you are. So the Spirit is telling you to forgive and learn on whatever situation that may have happened between you two. And just forgive and learn from it. I feel like you guys as well could be like doing some manifestation in your head or write journaling, like writing down how you want this particular person to be and act and how you vision your relationship to be and you manifesting it to be that way. Like it's, it's coming out to be that way because you're giving so much thought and energy to that. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say, Leo. In these videos, I'm gonna make them quick and simple because I'm trying to post more during the week. So you have the Nine of Swords. When I cut the cords, the cards, the Nine of Swords and the Page of Staffs, which is the Page of Wands. So there's definitely someone here that is stressing, not able to sleep at night, that's in despair, semi-depression here, due to some form of communication that has came in letter or this person is stressed because they want to communicate with you. They have communicated with you or you with them and there has not been a response. This person is dealing with heartache and heartbreak and possibly you are too, Leo. Just take it how it resonates. Spirit, give me a precise rating for the sign of Leo for June 2023. For June 2023. Okay. So you have the Ten of Swords and Judgment. So yeah, someone here is dealing with some pain. Dealing with some pain, some stress, some anxiety, some depression here. But whoever that this is that's dealing with this, they're waking up with the Judgment card here. They're realizing some things. They're realizing what they need to do. During this time period of stress, anxiety, and pain, like they're waking up, they're realizing what they need to do here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you have the star. You have the tower. Something here has happened, Leo. And you have the nine of cups. Let me take a couple more cards because I feel like that's enough for me to read off of. Give me a couple more cards, Spirit, if you need it. Okay. I'm 
gonna take these cards here. You have the Magician, Three of Coins, which is the Three of Pentacles, Temperance, Three of Staffs, Five of Staffs, which is Wands, Two of Cups, Nine of Wands, Nine of Staffs, and the Knight of Coins. Most definitely have a soulmate here. This person is definitely your soulmate. With the wish fulfillment, the two of cups, and the knight of pentacles. This in the this offer is coming in slowly to you guys, but there's definitely a serious commitment here. After this much needed tower moment, I feel like you guys needed this destruction to happen. I think I know you guys needed this to happen. Whatever fallout, whatever breakup, whatever argument you guys had that needed to happen in order for you to clear your energy between you both and heal it to come back to get this two of cups and this nine of cups that's happening is this wish fulfillment i do see there's a tower that has happened or in the make making of happening here which would bring on some anxiety and stress but i don't see it lasting long i see a fast healing period because someone is waking up and realizing what they need to do to come forward they're coming forward with a stable committed offer they have been fighting themselves mentally about this as well thinking about whatever fight or argument that you guys may have had. They're coming in to work on this connection and offer you this. They're coming in with solid attentions and on solid ground. Let me uh, clarify this. A couple clarifying cards here. Pentacles again. Yeah, this person is coming in with serious commitment. This, some of you guys, is, is marriage in, in the future for you. Like, soon. Future, like, near. They're coming in for with serious commitment, possibly a marriage proposal. They're coming in with some serious attention to you. And the King of Wands, let me get one more. And the Four of Swords, yeah. So this person. Has been, both of you guys are in the healing process here. This person has realized the error of their ways, dealing with distress and anxiety, not able to sleep at night. This person could possibly be feeling like they're having stomach problems or you. Because this person is laying in the bed, stressed, holding their stomach here. It's like they can't really sleep at night. Like they're stressed and despair. But I do see wish fulfillment coming, marriage, serious relationship leading to marriage, talks of marriage, talking of talks of something serious and committed here, Leo. But this tower needed to happen for you to get to this point, level of commitment. Because if it hadn't, you guys would have kept going in this merry-go-round, is what I'm seeing here, Leo. With that being said, if this reading resonated with you, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.